Hello lovely people, Amplifier Measuring Week. Today we're going to dive deep into the V-Power. So Alpine V-Power amplifiers, probably regarded as, I don't know, one of the best old school amplifiers. These are Class AB amplifiers and you have them under different, like, a few different generations, a lot of different model numbers. So this particular one is F240, which is a four channel. This was kindly donated to me by a guy named Mark. He's local to me, lives in Manchester, and he had it for years and years, and he didn't have any kind of usage for it. And he's like, uh, I bought something from him. We were talking about car audio and stuff, and he's like, yeah, I have no use, and it's pointless to sell it. So there you go, a donation. So this was a donation from a random person. So thank you very much for that. Again, this amplifier, form factor wise, it looks very similar to the previously reviewed uh, MRX, the X series. Layout is kind of identical. Same speaker terminal, same fusing, same, very similar this one. Now the only difference is that this has pre-outs for the RCAs which none of the other have, and we have these fork terminals instead of the usual ones where you can fit the actual wire. So these require like a fork to be fitted in. And the funny thing is you always see online when people like try to fit big wires in these, like four gauge or whatever, and like the wires go all over the place spliced and it just looks horrible. So this, since it's a 25 amp fuse, you literally don't need a big wire. Eight gauge, even like t probably 10 gauge will do. This is like, so 25 amps is very similar to the amplifiers built in DSP amplifiers that I was testing. Those have a similar fuse rating. However, this one is bigger because again, it's class AB. So class AB needs a heating to kind of cool down and yeah so i had this one as well i bought it from facebook marketplace and it was a flop because i bought it and it didn't work this was a model mrp t130 from my understanding t is two channel and all the other ones are like four channels so this was supposed to be two channel mod model and it's kind of the same v power but i think that one is slightly older generation and like i disassembled it just to have a look there's nothing really special on it i do have this cap which is bulging it might be a problem but i don't know one terminal is uh broken but yeah so basically this doesn't work I don't know why. I contacted the guy uh, on Facebook Marketplace and he just disappeared. He's not answering at all. So eh, it is what it is. So I think without any further ado, let's jump into the laptop and see how this V-Power measures. And I think these measurements are going to be the most interesting and the ones that people are looking forward the most. How does V-Power measure it measures bloody amazing <laughs> okay look minus 77 just for comparison uh this is the five channel a9 tv and this is the same line minus 77 so at 30 watts of power like that the old v power which is like probably 20 years old is cleaner than the new stuff if i compare this to the big brother a70f it's still cleaner than that one a tiny bit tiny bit at this power like uh, between 20 and 30 watts tiny tiny bit cleaner but it's so surprising it's like it's mega clean if we go to percentage 0.014 the thing is like i never ever imagined that an amplifier like it, it is considered kind of old school amplifier that it can measure so good and indeed all the rave about the v power amplifiers is true kind of the thing is like i cannot confirm all the other amplifiers because i measured only the one only this one i haven't touched any other ones 
probably there's better measuring ones and probably the worst ones but this is amazing let's have a look at the manual and the manual states that into four ohms uh, 0 0.08 percent hd 40 watts so let's find 0 0.08 0 0.08 here and here we have something like 32 watts and again it's just because of the voltage this is supposed to be 14.4 volts i'm measuring close to like 13 volts so yeah it will do rated power at one percent no problem at all the cleanest it is up to 30 watts now can you power your mid base on 30 watts and this is the thing like back in the day the speakers themselves had less rms power let's say because they were more sensitive so like 30 watts for a mid base driver nowadays it's kind of not enough if you're listening on a normal listening levels yeah it's fine but if you want to beat it down the block 30 watts it's not going to be enough that's why we have uh this one for example that does 100 watts clean but yeah up to 30 watts for mid ranges and for tweeters this is an amazing amplifier and it is in a way it is better than the new one but only in a way why do i say that like the tg number itself as you can see uh this one yeah the tg number itself doesn't tell the whole story because we have components that go into that thd so if we have a look here at the lower levels we can see that in the the newer type x amplifier the five channel yeah because i'm comparing with that one because why not we have the main component so thd it's basically non-existent here and we're talking about low voltage uh, low wattage uh, there's nothing there the main thing is uh noise yeah up to what well, up to this point probably up to like eight watts it's only the noise and everything else is very very low however for this one we can see this straight line and this straight line is thd and the second harmonic so you can see like second harmonic here and here now le let's look at like these about a seven eight watts which is like normal listening levels so second harmonic is kind of the same but higher on the older f240 and if we take for example just like five watts of power where we're actually measuring second harmonic is much higher on the older amplifier the third harmonic it's kind of low for both which is fine but for the older amplifier is the second harmonic and it's thd thd on the newer one is lower much lower so we can say again talking about the just theory in theory this amplifier with this prominent second harmonic is going to sound warmer on lower levels but at the same time it's gonna have more distortion because like the total thd is higher even at like one if we have a look at one watt here you can see this is the biggest difference see it's like what do we have 79 and 80 like 10 db difference in thd and in the second harmonic so again even if the total thd plus noise is kind of very similar and the same the components that add up to that thd they're different exactly the same different as we saw with the f65 the x series the older x series amplifier exactly the same here they're just slightly different let's have a look at other stuff frequency dependency there's no dependency on the frequency and again if you would have a look at the components that compromise everything we have kind of the same level but here you can see on the newer amplifier see the thd and the second and everything is much lower here 
But for this older amplifier, we have the second much higher, and we have THD as well much higher. The third one is lower, but the components are different. Now, let's have a look at the sweep, which is an interesting thing. And again, we see a very similar, actually, it's even less. 0 0.5 dB. No, it's like 0 0.3 dB. If you can hear the difference at 20 kilohertz, because if you remember the older amplifiers, the, the newer ones that I measured, had a drop of 0 0.6 dB. So if you can hear a difference at 20 kilohertz of 0 0.3 dB, then you're going to find that this amplifier is going to sound brighter, I'd like uh, brighter than the new X series amplifiers. But again, 0 0.3 dB, it's highly doubtable that anybody's going to hear anything. But yeah, the play all the way 30 kilohertz, 40 kilohertz, no problem. So Alpine was high res before high res was actually a trend. Let's have a look at this one. Yeah, so again, very clean, no issues there. We have well, 116 compared to this one, identical floor noise, everything is identical. Uh, what interests me is the differences between the channels. Kind of the same, the same, the same. So basically, with this amplifier, we see that um, there, it's more consistency between the channels. The harmonics are kind of the same. We have second, uh, the most prominent one, then the third and lower and lower. Whereas on this one, we saw on some channels like this one, the third harmonic pops up. So it's more consistent between all four channels. And as you can see, these are measured at five watts and we have 75, 76, 75, 76. On the newer one, 75, 75, 75 yeah, kind of the same, almost like THD plus noise at five watts is identical and the harmonics composition is kind of identical. The only difference is, is that the older F240 has this THD and the second harmonic way much more prominent uh, compared to the others. So it, can it be contributed to class AB or just a specific amplifier? I don't know. And I would like to hear your opinions about this as well, because this is very, very interesting to me. THD wise, almost identical. The main difference is again, that as you see between the F240 and the A9TV, and at the same time, A70F, the main differences that I see is the components that, that compromise the THD in the older F240, we see the second harmonic being the most prominent and it's kind of saying the same all over the place. Whereas on these, on lower levels, we have noise that compromises the whole THD plus noise. So this is the biggest, biggest difference. And obviously power. Power is up to 30 watts and after 30 watts, it goes uh, bonkers. But 30, 35 watts with higher voltage, probably 40 watts of clean, clean, clean power. So does this prove that V12 series are amazing amps? Yes, indeed. And if you look purely at THD plus noise, this is the cleanest amplifier I've tested so far, which is very, very interesting. Now what I need to do, I need to go to Facebook Marketplace and buy as many of them as I can find close locally to me. And uh, yeah, just do a build out of these because why not bridge them, have more power for mid bass and happy days. Oh my God, this is so, so cool. I hope that you are as happy as I am with these uh, findings. And one more thing that I did is I measured again, the crosstalk, uh, 10 volts, 0 0.1, we have 60 dB and again, this 0 0.1, it can be less, it can be a bit more, it's, I don't know, but the 60 dB is a bit more than I measured on the A9 TV, the smaller one. However, it is the same as I measured on the A70F. 
So this is very interesting to have this. Again, big number, small number, don't know, but it's good. The multi-tone, again, um, all good up to 5 watt or something. After that, it kind of goes up. And if we have a look at the multi-tone actual measurement, which is this one, yeah, very, very similar to the other amplifiers. No issues up all the way down to 40 hertz. No problem at all. Clean as a whistle. One of the cleanest, not one of the cleanest, the cleanest amplifier that I have so far. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next one.